Hey there guys and welcome back to North Fern Productions, the channel takes you behind the scenes of all things content creation. In today's video we're going to be looking at how to apply both the speed effect and the warp stabilization effect to the same clip in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you guys have tried this before, you'll know that the program does not let you do this, so I'm going to show you the workaround to how I do it in my projects. So we have a long shot of a, uh, a long clip of a drone shot that I took and I'm just going to, uh, I've already pre-selected an in and out point for the spot of the video that I want to use and I'm going to click and drag this to the new composition. From here, I want to right click and say new sequence from clip. So now I have two shots. I have uh, one sequence of it right here and it's green and another sequence right here where it's purple. So this one is just the footage. This one is the new sequence from clip that we just made. So I'm going to go ahead and rename these just so I don't get mixed up. This one's going to be named Project. And this one's going to be named Drone. So now I see that I have my drone footage here and my project footage here. Um, so in our drone footage, this is where we want to apply our warp stabilization effect. So go ahead and click and drag that on and let your computer do its thing. Excellent. Once your computer has finished doing its stabilization of the clip, then you need to move over to your actual project where the shot has the green look instead of the purple look. And if we go and look at this, we'll see that it is indeed much, much smoother than the original shot. So now that you have your stabilized footage in here, you can actually add the speed effect to the green footage. So if we go ahead and just make this 200% to make it double as fast, we can see that we now have, uh, it, it's much faster, it's double the speed. And we have successfully applied both effects to the same shot, which Adobe Premiere Pro does not really like you doing. But it works just great. From this point, you can just add a very simple color grade, such as this. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and sharpen this a bunch and my shot is good to go guys. So thank you so much for checking out today's video. Please be sure to leave a like on your way out and comment if you have any comments, questions or concerns. Subscribe to the channel if you guys like to see more Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials and tips. And as always guys, I will be seeing you in the next video.